Chilling Rain Booster Box, Tricky Jim style. This is how we do it. Ooh, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. We have got an incredibly exciting video for you all today. We're gonna be opening this Chilling Rain Booster Box courtesy of the Pokemon Company International. I am really excited. This is an early opening. I don't think I've ever opened a booster box this early before. Pre-release weekend isn't even upon us yet. It's this upcoming weekend. So major thanks to Pokemon for providing this booster box of Chilling Rain. We're actually live at the time of filming this on Twitch. So if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. I'm going to be giving away all of the codes in this box during the live stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're missing out, definitely make sure to go check out the Twitch channel and drop me a follow over there. Now let's get right on into it. I am very anxious. This booster box has been chilling here in the studio for like a month. I've shown off all the packs inside and you know what? I'm just ready to find out what in the world is in this booster box. So let's get right on into it. Do you think I can flip it? Okay. You think I can flip it without the packs falling out? I really want to, I want to do a flip, but I'm worried that the packs will, yeah, busted. All right, here we go. Let's get it, chat. Chilling Rain booster box, Tricky Jim style. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Yeah, let's just, what if I just open the booster box like this? How would you guys feel? If I just open the booster box like this, this is just, this is how I'm doing it the entire time. Okay. <laughs> oh, first pack magic, baby. First pack. How would you guys, how would you, <laughs> how would you guys like it if this is how I open, if this is how I open the booster box, just like, uh, you know, just like, uh, <laughs> I don't even know that I opened a booster box like this when I was a kid. I was going to say like I was a child or something, but like, I think I was probably a little bit more organized than that, even as a child. So, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, that would be so sick. Yeah, I'm just going to pile shuffle the packs and we're just going to pull, uh, we're just going to pull, you know, cards at random from the stack. Uh, this is, this is how we're doing this Chilling Rain booster box opening. All right. First, you know what? This is incredibly fitting. Our first ever card of Chilling Rain is Rapid Strike Sneasel. And I absolutely love Sneasel. It's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. I like Sneasel more than Weavile. So, you know what? We randomly picked a pack from the pile and uh, we got a Rapid Strike Sneasel. So I absolutely love this. Sneasel is also water type, okay? Which is super cool. It's kind of uh, referencing its ice type in the video game. And uh, it's got an attack, cut down, flip a coin of heads, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. A nice little uh, disruptive uh, disruptive attack. We've got Galarian, far fetched, single strike, fur fru, find a friend. Oh, fur fru's got friends. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. That's awesome. Fur fru, very, very cool. I remember. Furfru played a big part, what, in the X and Y games, pretty sure. It was like all over uh all over that game. Venipede. Sveal. Who doesn't love Sveal? Look at how happy. Look at just how happy this dude is. Look at how joyful this Sveal is. I know I'm stalling because there's a let's go. Path to the peak. We got this card in our sneak preview pack from the Pokemon Company. This is by far, I think, the best card in Chilling Rain. Path to the, pre Path to the Peak reads, Pokemon with a rule box in play, both yours and your opponents, have no abilities. Completely turns off your Crobat V, Dedenne GX, all that stuff, Eldegoss V, none of it works when Path to the Peak is in play. And first pack magic, baby. What do we got? A Lipard V. Scope that out. It's got the ability Hidden Claw. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench during your turn, you may discard a Pokemon tool card from a Pokemon, yours or your opponent's. I think this card is going to go fantastic in Eternatus VMAX decks. It's just an easy one of. You just put the card straight into that deck and uh, now all of a sudden you've got tool removal so you don't have to worry about big charms anymore or anything like that 
Uh, you can just discard them very easily with your Lipard V. And then it's got the attack Shadow Ripper for a dark and two colorless. Does 110 damage, and you may put a Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. I was expecting it to say, and all cards attached to it, uh, but they reworded it. It says you, could be, you may put a Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. Now, I know they've been working on the language on cards recently. So, you know, this kind of thing is something that I know that I noticed, right? Because uh, they've been wording this kind of thing uh, a certain way, you know, for the last 10 years or more. Uh, and now, right, to, you may put this Pokemon and all attached cards, not all cards attached to it. It just, you know what? I mean, only only true nerds, only true, ner true nerds are going to, uh, are going to recognize that. Uh, we got a Brawly Rapid Strike supporter card. Search your deck for up to three basic Rapid Strike Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. Nice little Rapid Strike supporter there. Whirlipede, Thwacky. Who doesn't love Thwacky? Evolves into Rillabooms. Rapid Strike Pokemon's got the attack knockoff for Grass and Colorless. Discard a random card from your opponent's hand. A little disruptive attack there. And of course, a code for all of you watching the show live. All right, let's go. And of course, I've got some nice perfect fit sleeves to put our hits in. Beautiful. All right, up next, what do we, yeah, here we go. Right from the center, excellent. We're embracing the chaos this opening. We've got a Hatena, 60 hit points. Nice little side shot attack. Oh my gosh, I love the art in this set. I mean, look how cute this rock rough is. It's just playing in the snow. I love it. Just playing in the snow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shup it. Oh my gosh. And the codes, apparently the codes aren't live on PTCGO yet. So uh, people will have to like type down, you know, type these codes out and then rush to try <laughs> to try and enter them in four hours, which is like, Epic, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm giving the codes away. I didn't exactly say that they'd be easy to redeem, but uh, we got fire resistant gloves. All right, fire resistant gloves uh, is a new Pokemon tool card. Well, actually, if the codes can't be redeemed yet, then uh, I'll save them all and I'll do a giveaway live. How about that? I'll save them all and then I'll draw a winner for. I'll draw two winners uh, for you know 15 codes. I'll do six. I'll do six giveaway, just random, and then I'll draw two winners at the end. Yeah, 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 exactly. Something like that. Uh, that way I'll divide it up even. All right, fire resistant gloves. It's a reverse hollow. Excellent. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active fire Pokemon. So nice little uh, tool there that, uh, that helps to damage fire type Pokemon. Very cool. And then we've got Kecleon. Rapid Strike Kecleon's got the ability Chroma Shift. This Pokemon is the same type as any basic energy attached to it. It has two or more different types of basic energy attached. This Pokemon is each of those types, and it's got the spinning attack attack. The spinning attack attack. Uh, for three colorless energy, it does 90 damage. So you could make it whatever type you want with basic energy, and then you can hit, you know, for weakness, uh, doing 90 damage, which is pretty neat. We got a Fire Energy, Porygon 2, an awesome Kakuna artwork. This is probably one of the gnarliest looking Kakunas I think I have ever seen, that's for sure. And Flannery, Single Strike Supporter. You could discard a special energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a Stadium in play. I think this Supporter is really good. Not only does it deny energy, it can also discard Stadium. Chaotic Swells all over the place right now, being able to discard Caddox Wells, very good. Being able to discard Path to the Peak, very good. And of course, discarding energy is good. And it's a single strike supporter, meaning that it gets all of the buffs from the single strike engine. And uh, all right, we'll just give away, this is the last code we're giving away since you can't actually type them into PTCGO yet. And then I will draw two winners for the codes live here on Twitch after the booster box opening. How's that sound? All right, cool. So I've got those two. And then I'll give away the remaining 34 codes out of this box with a uh, with a giveaway. All right, so we got the live hard. We got a Flannery. Absolutely gnarly. Clobopus. Looking super cute. I mean, look at it. I love the clay 
Love the clay Pokemon cards. Those are fantastic. Galarian Farfetch'd Cast Form. It's got the Weather Reading ability. If you have eight or more Stadium cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost. So it's kind of like the uh, Rotom, right, with tools, and you get to attack for free. And then Rainfall for, you know, for free, if you have eight Stadiums in your discard pile, does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Larvista. Rapid Strike Sobbles. Got the Keep Calling attack for one colorless energy. Search your deck for up to three basic Rapid Strike Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Gotta love a nice little setup attack. Fantastic for Rapid Strike Pokemon. And Reverse Lucky Energy is a new special energy card that reads, uh, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is the active is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, draw a card. Kind of like Lucky Helmet, but in energy form. And then we've got the new Passimian. Rapid Strike Passimian. It's got an ability Throwing Coach. Your Rapid Strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's Bench Pokemon V and Bench Pokemon GX. We were trying this out with the new Rapid Strike Zero Aura V. Rapid Strike Zero Aura V can do 160 damage to the bench with Telescopic Sight, 190 damage to a Bench Pokemon V or GX. With the new Passimian, 220 damage spread absolutely insane i think this card is a great uh great one of in zero aura decks in fact uh we're gonna be playing the zero aura deck later today so i'm gonna go ahead and set that thing aside and slide it right into the deck agatha you can move up to three damage counters from your active pokemon to your opponent's active pokemon and I guess the Passimian does have an attack. I, You know, I just assumed it was here for the ability only. But it does have an attack fling. It does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it actually does 50 damage to a, an opponent's Pokemon V because of the ability, which is very good. Agatha, you can heal your Pokemon three damage counters and move them onto your opponent's active Pokemon. Super, super cool. Flannery. And then Old Cemetery, a new stadium card that reads, whenever any player attaches an energy card from their hand to one of their non-psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. This reminds me a little bit of uh, like Potown, right? Potown placed damage counters on Pokemon when uh, they evolved. Old Cemetery uh, kind of reminds me a little bit of one of those old Plasma stadiums as well. Uh, I think, I forget what it was, uh, but had a similar, similar kind of effect. But Old Cemetery could be very good in Psychic-type decks. Great for uh, increasing damage on your opponent's Pokemon. And uh, it uh, could be neat paired with, like, Dragapult. Yes, it reminds me of Frozen City. That's the one. Uh, could be neat paired with Dragapult, since Dragapult really likes to try and spread damage counters. Anyway, a nice little stadium for sure. All right, up next, we got a Galarian Articuno pack. You already know, the Galarian Zapdos. Uh, the Galarian Zapdos packs are my favorite for sure. Uh, if we open an alt art Galarian Zapdos on stream today, uh, I will go absolutely bananas. I just want you guys to know I am going to go absolutely bananas here in the studio. I might even get so excited that I spike the Zapdos. Like I'm just going to, you know, <laughs> like like a touchdown or something. Single strike Heracross. Got the single horn throw, 40 plus. You flip two coins if both are heads. 160 more damage. So potential 200 damage if you're feeling lucky. Uh, we got Rapid Strike Ink. I believe there's a Rapid Strike Malamar in this set that uh, does more damage for the amount of Rapid Strike cards in your hand. Hatrim and Ampharos. 160 hit points. We just saw the new Flaffy from uh, the new Japanese set just revealed. So looking forward to reviewing those new Japanese cards. Uh, a little bit later, hopefully, with uh, Jesse Parker, who's going to be showing up soon. Ampharos, love this line. Really excited to see Ampharos and uh, Flaffy and Mareep getting some love. These guys are awesome. Some of my favorite lightning-type Pokemon, for sure. Uh, it's got the attack Thunder Shock. For one lightning energy, does 50 damage to a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Search Light Tail for lightning and a colorless. 90 damage, your opponent reveals their hand. If you find any energy cards there, this attack does not any more damage. Now I'm really excited to see what of what evolution lines come in the build and battle kits. I'm going to be doing a build and battle pre-release style stream tonight, June 4th at midnight. So technically June 5th, the morning of June 5th. 
so if you're interested to see what's in the pre-release kits, what's in the Chilling Rain Build and Battle kits, definitely make sure to tune in to the Twitch stream live at midnight. Incredibly excited to see what we get there. Let in, and we got Peonia. It's a supporter card that reads, put up to three prize cards into your hand, then for each prize card you put into your hand in that way, put a card from your hand face down as a prize card. So this supporter is really good for control decks because it can allow them to get cards out of their prizes, uh, even though control decks don't typically take prizes. And what's also neat is that if you only need one card out of your prizes, you can put three cards into your hand, right? And because it says put three cards into your hand, then, right, for each prize card you put into your hand, you can put a card from your hand face down as a prize card. You can put three cards from your prizes into your hand, and then you could put two of them back, right? Even if you just want one of those cards, you put three into your hand, you could put two back. In fact, if you didn't find what you were looking for, you could put the three into your hand, and then you could put the three back, and you don't need to shuffle them. Right, so if you use Peonia twice, you have access to all six of your prizes, right? Because you get to look at, uh, I do my prizes three and three. You can look at your top three prizes, put them back, and then you can use Peonia again, look at your bottom three prizes and put them back. So I think this is a really cool card, absolutely amazing for control decks, and I'm excited to see uh, some creative uh, writing there in the cards. Honey, new supporter card, Honey, uh, I think in the games is with mustard, right? Honey, honey mustard, uh, <laughs> you get it? <laughs> uh, allows you to draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon V. Uh, usually your opponent won't have too many Pokemon V in play, but if you're playing against Eternatus and they have eight Pokemon V in play, all right, you're drawing eight cards, busted. And uh, we'll save the code to give away a little bit later. I'll do the, I'll do the pack on top, that's fine, that's fine. Looking for an alt art, if you're watching on YouTube, we have a little prediction going on in the Twitch chat. Will I open an alt art Pokemon card? That is that is the chase card for us. I mean, alt arts are incredible. I mean, the Pokemon company has been doing an absolutely phenomenal job. Bound Sweet Reverse and Saul's Book. I got a buddy, Chris, from college, whose favorite Pokemon is Saul's Book. I don't know that I've ever met anybody else whose favorite Pokemon is Sawsbuck. Shout out to Chris, my buddy Chris from college, who just loves Sawsbuck, thinks he's an epic Pokemon. Uh, Black and White came out while I was in college because I'm old, all right? I'm old, I'm old. Uh, Winter Horn for Grass and Two Colorless does 80 damage, and if you have a Stadium card in play, this attack does 80 more damage. So 160 for three. Very cool Sawsbuck. Epic looking Pokemon. Got Porygon 2, Kakuna, and Flannery. We're getting plenty of Flannery, man. Just might have to be nothing but control decks for for me with as many Flannery as I'm uh, as I'm opening here in this box. Snover, I think there's a uh, I think there's an Obama Snow in this set that uh, like increases hit points or something like that. Galarian Slowpoke, yo, we love Slowbro here on the Twitch channel. We love Slow King. We love Slowpoke. Big, big, slow family stands here. Can I call them the slow family? I don't know. What do you call it? If I'm trying to talk about slow king, slow bro, yeah. Let me see those slow bro emotes in the chat if you're here on Twitch. We've got, we've got some incredible uh, slow, slow bro evolution line stuff. Let me see them slow bro emotes in the chat. Man, the Tricky Jim Yowza emote. I love it, love it. All right, here we go. We got Reverse Glade. It's got the Dynablade attack, does 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. Really good against Eternatus, not too good against much else, because it is dependent on uh, it is dependent on your opponent putting Pokemon V into play and then faint uh, for one Psychic Energy, does 60 damage, not affected by resistance. I think there's a cool uh, Gardevoir in the set as well. Uh, I think. And then we've got Serena. It's got Solar Beam Attack. Solar Beam Attack. Solar Beam. 120 damage and then Tread On for two colorless. 10 plus 50 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So if you had four Absol in play, okay, and the Stadium, you could theoretically do 300, right, because you could increase the retreat cost. Yeah, if you got the Stadium, 
that uh, yeah that increases their uh, Galar mine, right? Is that the Galar mine? Yep. You got Galar mine for Absol. I'm just saying, tread on, and they have a natural retreat cost of like a couple. Whew. Be taking one hit KOs left and right with that Serena. Now it's a lot to set up, but I'm just saying, okay. It theoretically, okay. Theoretically, you could do over 300 damage with that. Haunter. Celio. Celio's network. I don't know. Missed opportunity for I love Luke Morsa. Talked to had a great conversation with Luke Morsa the other day. Missed opportunity to have Celio be the mascot of Celio's network. Okay. Just saying. Missed opportunity. I think Celio should. Celio should be Celio's network's mascot. I don't know. What do you guys think? Missed opportunity. Celio. I mean, it's in the name. It's literally right there. You have like a nice Celio right there on the banner. Just Celio. All of it. Huge missed up. For sure. For sure. All right. We got cast form. Did I show the code? I did not show the code. Did I show the code? All right. Y'all can have the code. It's cool. Here's the code. Now the code is really shown. There you go. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Excellent. Yeah, throw that code away. All right, cast form. Quillfish. It's got an ability. Bursting needles. Yeah, that code. That someone's gonna have to come back for that code <laughs> in, in four hours. <laughs> uh, it's got the uh, bursting needles ability. If this Pokemon's in the act spot and knocked out by damage from attack from your opponent's Pokemon, you put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon and a poison jab for two colorless. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. I Ralts Heracross. Gas form, sunny form, high pressure blast. Okay, it attacks for free if you got eight stadiums in the discard pile. High pressure blast does 150 damage when you discard a stadium in play. Very cool. So could one hit KO Zashian for free. We got reverse coughing. Let's go. We got our first. Calrex V, Shadow Rider, Calrex, scope that out. Absolutely beautiful Pokemon card. I love it. This is going straight into my Shadow Rider Calrex deck. In fact, I got the deck right here, dude. I've got the deck. It's right over here. Yeah, literally, we're just going to go ahead and put that straight into the deck. We've got the deck. Uh, I've got some Japanese versions of the card. Yeah, beautiful. Just going right in there pew, instead of the proxy yeah this thing is getting literally riffle shuffled today uh shadow rider calrex v oh yeah this guy's getting a good old riffle 210 hp it's got the shadow mist attack for one psychic energy does 10 damage and during your opponent's next turn they can't play any special energy or stadium cards from their hand and then astral barrage three colorless energy you get to choose two of your opponent's Pokemon and put five damage counters on them. Resist fighting by 30. Awesome card. Really stoked about that pull. Uh, and we got a Melanie as well in this pack. Melanie, new supporter card. You can attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon V. If you do, draw three cards. So it's kind of like an inverse welder, right? Uh, welder accelerated two fire from the hand. This gets a water from the discard pile. Draw three cards. Going to be potentially good with the new Ice Rider Calrex that uh, we are supposedly getting in this set. I'm not even going to bother putting that card in a perfect fit because we already know. I mean, to be honest, I got Eternatus built too. That Lipar can go straight into the... Uh, straight into the Eternatus deck. I mean, that's the, I'm really excited about today because I'm gonna actually get to, uh, I'm gonna actually get to play with these cards. Like, as soon as the opening is done, I'm putting these cards in decks and we're gonna play with them. So uh, again, major thanks to Pokemon for making this a possibility. We got a reverse Agatha and our first VMAX of Chilling Rain, Sandaconda VMAX, come on down. 320 HP, it's fighting type Pokemon with the Sand Pulse attack. Does 60 damage for one fighting energy. And you can put 20 damage on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And then G-Max Cyclone for two fighting and a colorless is 180 damage. And you can move any amount of energy cards from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. So it kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, of like, what? Gardevoir and Sylveon Tag Team GX, right? Uh, with its attack that allowed you to move your energy around. 
So that's pretty neat. You could combo it with Cheryl, right? Uh, you could combo Sam Pulse with Telescopic Sight, deal additional damage to your uh, your opponent's bench Pokemon V and GX. Neat little card, definitely an exciting pull. And we've got another new card in this pack, Single Strike Scroll of Piercing. It is a tool card that, when it's attached to a single strike Pokemon, gives it this bonus attack. Bullet Breakthrough for Fire and Two Colorless, 120 damage. This attack's damage is not affected by weakness or resistance or by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So super sick tool card. Uh, nice for single strike Pokemon. Goes straight through, um, you know, Altaria or Decidueye or uh, anything like that. Another Melanie. Expedition Uniform, new item card, allows you to look at the bottom three cards of your deck and put them on top of your deck in any order. Not gonna lie, I don't really, yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know, um, yeah, if this card's gonna see any play. Interesting, but potentially not interesting enough. It's an item card that lets you put cards from the bottom of your deck, yeah, on top of your deck. I mean, I guess if you're really not happy about the cards you got Marnie to away, you could go chase them with Expedition Uniform, but uh, I would rather just, I think, uh, oh yeah, here's the code. Yep, there's that one, cool. Oops, that one's, uh, that one's give it away. Someone's gonna have to come find that one later. <laughs> Someone will find it in the VOD. Some some lucky, lucky person will find it in, in the VOD. So you could theoretically, I guess, you know, use it to, uh, nah, it just doesn't seem worth it. I can't imagine that card ever being worth it. Lediba, Squovit, evolves into that Greedent Pokemon sent us during the sneak peek, which uh, stops crushing hammers. Fantastic. I love this Score Bunny line artwork too. Uh, look, the Score Bunny playing in the snow. Now, at first I was like, you know, all right, Score Bunny's playing in the snow. Isn't that gonna like, hurt the score bunny, you know, because it's weak to water, but actually fire is super effective against ice. So no, score bunny's got power over ice, baby. Power. And then reverse wheezing. It's got the mixin' toxin attack. <laughs> Just mixin' some toxins, all right. Wheezing, one darkness energy, mixin' toxin. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Attach a dark energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon. Oh, to this Pokemon. And then Smog Burst for dark and a colorless does 20 damage plus 20 more damage for each dark energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So you pile energy in play, mix in Toxin, uh, accelerates energy on the active. And then I think there's a Galarian Weezing, which like doubles up your darkness energy attached to Weezings. And then there's the new Galarian Moltres as well. Brings the Darkness Energy back from the discard pile. Could be a fun little deck. And Walrein. All right, Walrein. 170 HP. has got the Aurora, Aurora Beam. Attack, 70 damage, and then Hail Prison. I wouldn't want to be caught in Walrein's Hail Prison. That's for sure. And then <laughs> it costs two water and a colorless. 160 damage. Discard two energy from this Pokemon. Automatic Paralysis, baby. And your opponent's defending Pokemon is paralyzed steeny dyna tree hill is that a camille artwork you already know that was a camille art man is ain't no questions about which ones are camille you always know you always know a camille artwork when you see it dyna tree hill stadium card both yours and your opponent's pokemon cannot be healed all right so it's like the cheryl counter uh, unfortunately stadiums are all pretty uh, in a pretty bad spot right now because of Caddox Swell, but Caddox Swell will be rotating in uh, September, and then I think stadiums are going to get a lot, a lot, a lot better. Spiral Energy, new special energy card, can only be attached to Rapid Strike Pokemon, provides a rainbow type effect when attached to those Pokemon, and it makes it so those Pokemon it's attached to cannot be paralyzed. So nice. Uh, bonus effect of that Rapid Strike energy. Again, that card was in the sneak preview pack that Pokemon sent us. Very cool. Gonna allow for some flexibility in uh, deck building, which I really like. Uh, just rainbow energy in the format, I think, is really healthy for deck building, really healthy for the game. Great stuff. Squovit. Spiel. Swirlix. There's a new control, uh, what, Swirlix Senior out there. 
Um, yeah, you know, uh, big cotton candy dude. Yeah, whoever Swirlix. <laughs> yeah, thanks, po thanks Pokemon for this for this booster box. <laughs> While I call Pokemon Swirlix senior. <laughs> uh, Slurpuff. That's it. I got it. Yeah, Slurpuff. Yeah, yeah. There's a new Slurpuff in the set. Got it. on it, chat. I'm on it. Karen's conviction. New single strike supporter card that reads: During this turn, your single strike Pokemon's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. So if your opponent has taken five prizes, then you play Karen's Conviction. Your single strike Pokemon will be dealing 100 more damage to the defending Pokemon. Absolutely insane. I think this card is really good. Definitely, uh, if, you know, if single strike decks become relevant then, uh, you know, then I think Karen's Conviction is certainly a card we could see played in those decks. And Celebi V. Nice little pull. Celebi V, 190 HP, Grass-type Pokemon. It's got the Leaflet Dance attack. Attach any number of Grass Energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Okay, for just one Grass Energy. Cool. And then Slash Bat for a Grass and a Colorless. Does 60 damage and you can switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Very cool. We'll go ahead and put that Celebi in a sleeve. Fantastic. Now, of course, Grass Pokemon had a tough time uh, with relevancy ever since the, you know, ever since Welder uh, had been printed. But I think Grass Pokemon can make a big comeback. And I think Celebi VMAX, what, heals Pokemon, which I think is really neat. So there could be the return of the tanky grass deck after, could be the return of the tanky grass deck after Welder rotates. Could see it. Could definitely see it. Snover, Blitzel, just hanging out in the middle of the Arctic Ocean. I mean, honestly, just looks like it's not having a good time. If I was a Blitzel, I'd be scared. Uh, looks like it somehow got lost at sea. Ghastly, coughing, that coughing artwork is fantastic. Delibird, 90 hit points, got the package delivery attack for two colorless energy. Put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. If you do, you can search your deck for any card, put it into your hand. Nice, nice little, uh, cool little attack. Could be neat in like pre-release format. Expedition uniform, and here is the single strike Obama Snow. It's got the toughness boost ability. Your single strike Pokemon in play, except any Obama Snow, get plus 50 hit points. And you can't apply more than one toughness boost ability at a time. So, your basic single strike Pokemon can have plus, D, plus 50 hit points from Obama Snow, and then plus 50 more hit points from Cape of Toughness. So, you could add a hundred hit points to your single strike Pokemon if it's a basic Pokemon, which is. Pretty rad. That's pretty good. Rugged Helmet. New tool card from Chilling Rain. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, uh, you get to put an energy from the attacking Pokemon into your opponent's hands. Nice little energy denial helmet. Kind of reminds me of the blue shell. All right. Uh, yeah, it looks like the blue shell. Everybody hates the blue shell. Crabominable and Doctor is a new supporter as well. Draw two cards. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon VMAX, draw two more cards. Situational supporter probably won't see any play, but interesting nonetheless. All right, Galarian Zapdos pack. I can feel it in my jellies. Alt art Galarian Zapdos out of the Galarian Zapdos pack. Here we go. Venipede, Bound Sweep, Lapras, new card. It's got the Melanie in the background. It's Wintry Call Attack. Allows you to search your deck for up to two Melanie cards, reveal them, and put them into your hands. Cool little setup card. I can see this seeing play maybe in the pre-release format. Blitzel, a Aeron Rapid Strike Drizzile with the bounce attack. You can switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. And Kecleon is our rare impact energy. We got to see this in the Sneak preview pack from Pokemon. Rainbow energy can only be attached to single strike Pokemon and prevents poison for those single strike Pokemon attached to and wacky. All right, we're starting to make our way through most of the commons and uncommons now. So at this point, 
hunting for new rares that we haven't seen yet. Oh, there's something in this pack. Diglett. There's a Rapid Strike Doug Trio in this set. What do we got here? Shuppet. Cub Fu. Caitlin is a reprinted supporter card. We got a reverse Caitlin here. Put any number of cards from your hand onto the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw that many cards. Caitlin didn't see play black back during the black and white era. I don't really expect to see a lot of play now. What do you what do you think we got, Jeff? What do you what do you think it is? Ooh. Uh-huh. 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 Metagross V, full art. All right, look at that shiny new Metagross. Metagross V, rapid strike Pokemon. It's got 220 HP and the bullet punch attack for one metal energy. Does 20 damage and you flip two coins. 20 more damage for each heads. And then Synchro Hammer for a metal and a colorless to 60 damage. Plus, if this Pokemon and your opponent's Pokemon uh, active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached. This attack does 90 more damage. So it could do 150 damage for just two energy, but you have to have the same amount of energy attached. Then Crushing Gloves, it's uh, one of those gloves cards, tool card, increases the damage your Pokemon is attached to, does to Metal type Pokemon by 30. Curlia and Justified Gloves, same thing, but uh, boosting the damage done to Dark type Pokemon. I think that the gloves are really cool uh, i think that it, it's gonna make for some unique teching and uh some unique teching and some unique uh, deck building strategies so i think that that's uh that's super neat and i'm glad to see unique cards like that printed instead of just like choice ban which just did plus 30 to all uh pokemon v and pokemon gx or no not pokemon v pokemon gx and ex excuse me man Getting old, yep. <laughs> and uh, we got Peony, new supporter card. Discard your hand, then search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Uh, I think Peony could see some play alongside Cricketune. Nice little combo card. The problem is, what if one of the cards that you want from Peony is in your hand already? Uh, then you're discarding it. Uh, kind of feels bad. But uh, I think the card's got some potential. Uh, you just have to have the draw support to be able to uh to deal with the fact that you do have to discard your hand when you play it galarian chest plates is a new tool card as well and if the pokemon is attached to has galarian in its name takes 30 less damage from attacks caitlin and the code all right so we've got five hits so far still would like see if we can't find an alt art that would be the dream. Oh boy, what do you got? This is uh, this card is uh, it looked gold, Chad. It looked gold. What do you what, what do you what do you think it is? It's a it's a gold card. Yep. I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I saw a sliver of gold. So we could scoot up from the bottom. What if we reveal from the bottom up? All right. Anybody know what it is yet? It's an item card. It's an item card. You can play any number of item cards during your hand, uh, from your hand during your turn. Anybody know what it is yet? I don't. Still, still don't know. All right. Anybody know what it is yet? <laughs> How about now? It's the urn of vitality. Single strike, earn a vitality. Wow, uh, what a beautiful card. Check that out. Earn a vitality, gold single strike item card and allows you to shuffle up to two single strike energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Absolutely insane pull. Wow, that is, uh, that is super neat. And we got the echoing horn item in this pack as well. You can put a basic Pokemon from your opponent's discard pile onto the bench. Really good, really good uh, with uh, Arceus Dialga Palkia. I'm also interested in trying out the Echoing Horn with Victini deck since Victini plays a lot of bosses orders and really likes to target down Pokemon V. I think Echoing Horn could also see play alongside Victini. Um, 
just because uh, you, you want to be able to like knock out uh, Crobats and then bring them back, right? Okay, Furfru, Rockruff, Zebstrika. We got him. We got him, chat. Shadow Rider, Calrex, VMAX, 320 HP. It's got the Underworld Door ability. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon and draw two cards. Then Max Geist, three colorless energy, 10 damage, plus 30 more damage for each Psychic Energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Wow, I am really stoked that we've got the uh, Shadow Rider Calrex V and Shadow Rider Calrex V Max. We are going to be riffle shuffling those bad boys in like... 30 minutes. Yeah, that those things are going to get riffle shuffled to the nth degree today. Oh, yeah. Not even, we don't even need any any sleeves for those. Those things are getting, uh, those things are getting bent up for surely. Yes, yes. They're going straight in, straight into the, straight into the deck. The proxy is coming straight out. Yep. And I get to play it right alongside my Japanese versions. There we go. Just playing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're diving straight into the deep end, chat. Wow, really, really stoked that we were able to get a Shadow Rider and a uh, a V and a V Max. That's like really sick. But Nets, single strike, new single strike Pokemon's got the Resolute Spite attack for one Psychic Energy, put up to seven damage counters on this Pokemon, and then it does 20 damage for each damage counter you placed in this way, so you can deal 140 damage for just one energy, and then Eerie Light for a Psychic and a Colorless. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Eh, not not a great card. There was a Frostlass that kind of did the same thing, but that was back when Pokemon only had 280 hit, hit points, so Frostlass could one-hit KO a Reshiram Charizard, but Bonnet isn't really one-hit KOing much of anything. Avery, new supporter card. Draw three cards. If you drew any cards in this way, your opponent discards Pokemon from the bench until they have three. I think this card is very good. Uh, Parallel City has been a very good card. Uh, I think Eternatus VMAX gets some new life breathed into it. Uh, with the power of Shadow Rider Calrex, right? So Avery being able to just put your opponent's uh, board down to three bench Pokemon is uh, is really epic. And I think this card's gonna be very good against Eternatus. So very cool. Thwacky and Fog Crystal. Absolutely love Fog Crystal. Search your deck for a Psychic Energy card or a basic Psychic Pokemon, reel it and put it into your hand. This card is insane for Psychic type decks. And uh, yeah, this, this card is just gonna go straight into your Shadow Rider Calrex deck. Any deck that plays Psychic type Pokemon uh, is certainly going to be taking advantage of Fog Crystal. So I, I would love to see if we can't get a play set of Fog Crystal. That would be, that would be huge. Rapid Strike Zeb Strike has got the Coordinated Bolts attack for one colorless energy, 30 damage, and if one of your other Rapid Strike Pokemon used an attack during your last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. And then Spark Rush for a Lightning and two colorless. Flip a coin until you get Tails. Infinite damage, baby. Infinite. I'm flipping 10 heads, 900 damage. Let's get it. So yeah, you could play this alongside your Zera Aura because Zera Aura also has a bonus effect if one of your Rapid Strike Pokemon attack during your last turn. Interesting little card. And then Welcoming Lantern, single strike item card that gets you a single strike supporter card from your discard pile back to your hand. If they release some more really good single strike supporters, that could certainly be powerful. And then Clara, 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 Clara. Choose one or both. Put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, or put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Nice little recovery card on a supporter. Could be situationally useful. And a rapid strike brawly. Yo, this box is looking pretty gnarly so far, I have to say. We uh we got it going on. Rapid strike weavile. You know, I'm a big Sneasel fan. First pack we open, first card, Rapid Strike Sneasel. We got the Rapid Strike Weavile as well. Beautiful looking card. It's got the two hit KO attack for one colorless energy during your next turn. If the defending Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's just like a little peck for 10, by a Rapid Strike Pokemon, it will be knocked out. Now, the unfortunate thing about this attack is that if the defending Pokemon switches at all or evolves or anything, then the effect of two hit KO is removed. But if you could prevent your opponent from switching altogether, 
then, you know, maybe you could take some uh, big knockouts, you know, in two hits. And then Nasty Plot for one water energy. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Rugged Helmet, Crabonable, and what's up, Doc? The Doctor. Rock Rough, Swirlix, Lapras Deerling, Cast Form, and Ampharos are rare in that pack. Got another Path to the Peak. Love it. Set that aside, the Path to the Peak. Uh, definitely going to be going into decks uh, immediately. Path to the Peak, I think, is incredibly powerful, even with Chaotic Swell in the format. I fully expect Path to the Peak to see uh, a lot of play. Yes! We've got... A Cresselia goes fantastic with Shadow Rider, Calyrex VMAX. It's got the Crescent Glow attack for one Psychic Energy. Search your deck for, up to, uh, for a Psychic Energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon. And if you go second and it's your first turn, you can search for three Psychic Energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck and then Photon Laser for two Psychic Energy. Does 30 damage plus 90 more damage. If you have five energy in play, this card goes fantastic with the Shadow Rider Calrex deck. That thing will be going straight into uh, straight into the Shadow Rider deck that I have built. So very uh, very excited about that. Yes, very similar, eerily similar to Volcanion from Unbroken Bonds. I would hate it if you had maybe copied Volcanion's homework, Cresselia. You know. Our policy on, uh, did I say Volcanion? Anyways, yeah, uh, Volcanion. It'd be a shame, you know, if we were to catch you copying Volcanion's homework. We got Gengar. Holographic, Lickin' Stairs. I love, love the artwork on this card. It's amazing. This is one of the coolest Gengar arts there are. It's got the ability Last Gift. If this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, search your deck for up to two cards. Put them into your hand and then Pain Burst for three colorless energy. Does 10 damage plus 40 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Very cool card. Very cool. Love the artwork on it. Big Gengar fan. As you, as you know. As you know. That Gengar really getting out there, licking the stairs. Yep. Got no, no fear of germs whatsoever on that Gengar. Nothing, you know, or just, you know, basic sanitation. Yeah, not even remotely concerned. Holographic Tauros, I love the art on this card. Single strike Pokemon, Raging Bull for two colorless energy. Does 20 plus damage, 20 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. This Pokemon's now confused. So if you have your, okay, let's do it. If you have your Obama Snow in play, it's 180 hit points. And if you have a Cape of Toughness, on your Tauros. Can you put a Cape of Toughness on non-Pokemon V? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, right? It's just basic Pokemon. Anyways, if you give this thing plus 100 HP, you could have two, 220 damage on it, right? So you could have 22 damage counters. So 22 times two, that is uh, 440, uh, right? Plus 20, so you do 460 damage. All right, let's go. 460 damage, because it's 20 plus. Yeah, 460. Let's get it. Insane. And what? Oh, the single strikes. Of, and uh, yeah, Karen's Conviction. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, I forgot for a moment that uh, the whole Spiritomb deck is based around having a Cape of Toughness on your <laughs> non-V Pokemon. That's right. Rapid Strike Scroll of the Skies. The Rapid Strike Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attack on this card. Grab Drop for a Lightning and a Colorless. 10 plus damage. This attack does 50 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Neat little uh, neat little tool. And of course, we'll only get better uh, with the uh, increase in Rapid Strike Pokemon that get released. And uh, if anybody checked uh, the internet today, you will have seen that uh, some new Rapid Strike Pokemon from Japan did just get revealed. So that is very exciting. Holographic Beedrill, I love the artwork on this card. Single Strike Pokemon. Uh, Beedrill's got some really dope artworks in the history of the Pokemon TCG. There's one from Neo Discovery, I think. 
I think the best Beedrill artwork of all time is from Neo Discovery. Uh, but this Beedrill is, uh, is top five. Top five, top five. All right. Single Strike Beedrill has got the Persist Sting attack for one Grass Energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon, if they have any special energy attached, it's knocked out. Insane. Instant KO on any Pokemon that's got a special energy attached. And then Jet Spear for one Grass Energy does 110 damage, and you get to discard an energy from this Pokemon. That Beedrill is pretty sweet. Larry the Laron. Cool. All right, coming down to the final bit of this of this box we've got some insane hits so far honestly one two three four five six seven seven hits can we make it eight got another Passimian, another path to the peak beautiful definitely uh can't be can't be uh, disappointed in that path to the peak such a good card i'm gonna need a play set of paths to the peak Clavopus, Quillfish, and Shaman is our hollow rare, 70 hit points, got the return attack, 10 damage, you may return, you may draw cards until you have 6 cards in your hand, and then Sky Return, I remember a Shaman with Sky Return, 30 damage, and you put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand, Sky Return's back, baby, Sky Return is back. Shame, it's like the same thing. It has the same attack as Shaman EX. We all know Shaman EX was broken. <laughs> it's missing. Uh, it's missing just one key feature, really, of Shaman EX. Just one. There's Rapid Strike Doug Trio with a triple heads attack for a fighting and a colorless. Flip three coins. This attack does 60 damage for each heads. If all of them are heads, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from effects done to this Pokemon. Very cool. So if you're feeling lucky, invincible. Absolutely invincible Doug Trio. Because it, you know, it digs underground. And then I think this might be our first Raboot. Uh, I really love the artwork on the Single Strike Raboot. Uh, it goes perfect with the uh, Single Strike, uh, yeah, Score Bunny as well. Just such a cool, moody little Raboot. Absolutely love it. All right. We've got eight packs remaining. Let's do this one. Eight packs. And there's a... Oh, we got an eighth hit. You know Sneasel leading the charge to a busted hit. You already know. All right, we're going to slow roll this one. Just for the just for the suspense. Fur Fru. Venipede. Spiel. Crabominable. The Crabominable Snowman. What is it? What do you think it is? What do you what do you what do you, what do you think that is, huh? You've got to be joking me. You've got to be kidding me. No way, dude. No, no way. This is so insane, bro. <laughs> What the heck? This is so gnarly, man. Two Shadow Riders, bro. Oh, yeah. Busted box, man. Busted box. Yo, cue the DJ Khaled. Another one. We the best music. <laughs> Absolutely. Yo, you ready to get riffle shuffled today, Shadow Rider Calrix? You ready? You ready? Yeah, you ready to just get bent in half? All right, can we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Can we get a ninth hit? That would be, I mean, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Unheard of. Not unheard of. I've seen 10 hit box. I've seen a 10 hit box. I can't believe we got two of the same VMAX. I can't believe it. That's I'm blowing my mind right now. Absolutely, absolutely blowing my mind. No Zapdos, though. Not even a single Galarian bird. Not even a single Galarian bird. I don't think there's a hit in this pack. Nah, nah, I zip strike. All right, all right, all right. No Galarian bird. Got another Melanie, though. Okay, okay. Let's go. This box is some fire, dude. Some absolute flames. Three VMAX in the box. Two of the same one. A gold item card. Zerud. All right, let's go. Zerud. Reverse Hollow. It's got the Pack Call Attack for one Grass Energy. 
Uh, search your deck for a grass Pokemon, reel it, and put it into your hand. If you go second, to your first turn, search your deck for three grass Pokemon instead of one. And I believe there's some subtext here that says, then your opponent Marnies you. All right. And then there's repeated whip for three colorless energy to 60 damage plus 20 more damage for each grass energy attached to this Pokemon. So could do a lot of uh, damage if you have just a ton of, uh, you know, a ton of grass energy attached. And then, of course, we got the... Melanie, another Melanie. Wow. Let's go. Three packs left. Is there a hit in this pack? I don't, it might be a hit in this pack, chat. This this could be... I, I'm pretty sure there's another... I'm pretty sure there's another another hit, chat. What do you think it is? Sure. We got a, a nine hit. We got a nine hit box, chat. We got a nine hit box. Two Shadow Riders in it. What do you... Zara Aura V. Rapid Strike. Let's go. That's so sick. This Zara Aura V going straight into my Blaziken Zara Aura deck. Gnarly pull. Zara Aura V has got some incredible artwork. Rapid Strike Pokemon. 210 HP. It's got the Cross Fist Attack. For a lightning and two colorless does 100 damage, and if one of your rapid strike Pokemon uh, attacked during your last turn, this attack does 160 damage to one of your opponent's bench uh, Pokemon, right? And then you can increase increase the damage you deal to your opponent's bench Pokemon V and GX with a new rapid strike Passimian, and with telescopic sight, you could do potentially 220 spread damage. Wow, with that Zara Aura absolutely insane and i'm not even gonna sleeve it because it's going straight into my deck straight straight into the deck can we get the mythical 10 hit box that is i mean at this point it's greedy the new spear tomb with the ghostly cries attack for one colorless energy for each pokemon in your opponent's discard pile put one damage counter on your opponent's pokemon in any way you like if you placed any pokemon if you placed any damage counters in this way on your opponent's Pokemon, uh, your opponent shuffles all Pokemon from their discard pile into their deck. So, uh, yeah, Mad Party. Yeah, it, basically, it would be a shame if you were to be playing Mad Party and I would be playing the Spirit Tomb because you'd be having a bad time, right? Just the, the Mad Party Slayer. And then Echoing Horn. Two horns. Too cool. Love it. And the last pack of our booster box. We've got an absolutely bonkers nine hits so far we pulled a huge portion of a shadow rider calrex deck which is insane and we've got a gold urn of vitality insane just some absolutely crazy pulls last pack magic can we make it a 10 hitter rapid strike diglet larvesta inke rock rough Ghastly, Reverse Rock Ruff, and Rapid Strike Malamar. Last pack of the box. Rapid Strike Malamar. This card we haven't seen yet, actually. It's got the Rapid Strike Tentacles attack for one Psychic Energy. You can reveal any number of Rapid Strike cards from your hand. This attack does 40 damage for each card you revealed in this way. Then shuffle those cards into your hand deck very cool card uh could build your very own rapid strike uh deck and if you can reveal 10 uh, what eight we'll say eight if you could reveal eight uh you know rapid strike cards from your hand you're gonna deal 320 damage pretty uh significant amount of damage there but a heavy cost gonna have to get a lot of uh rapid strike cards into your hand so that's it my very first booster box of chilling rain these are our hits i am so stoked about our pulls we're gonna be putting a lot of these cards straight into decks and then we're gonna be playing with them very soon in fact during this stream so if you're watching on YouTube, definitely make sure to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community there, and we'd love you to be a part of it. 
Again, big thanks to the Pokemon Company International for hooking us up with this early Chilling Rain booster box to open. I had an absolute blast checking out these brand new cards. And that's it. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.